Welcome to day 23 of my 100 days of Wefla journey. Today we're going to continue building that template marketplace that we started building yesterday. We're going to populate it with the CMS that we're going to create on this episode. And then we're going to integrate Gumroad to be the checkout platform for these items. So basically every time a user clicks on an item, they're taken to that checkout page for that item on Gumroad. And then they just fill in their card details, check out and get the item they need. So without further ado, let's see how this works. Okay, so let's continue where we left off yesterday. So yesterday we made this page, we made this grid, we just added the basic structure of the page. And today we're gonna populate it with items. So first we need to create a CMS. So our CMS, before we create it, we just need to know what the CMS is gonna have. So it's gonna have an image, it's gonna have this title, it's gonna have a category, it's gonna have a price, and then it's gonna have a button, of course, a URL or something that takes it to the purchase. And uh, since we're integrating a, like a payment platform, which is Gumroad, we're just gonna have a look on how the integration will go. So if you, if you Google integration, Gumroad, uh, Webflow, it's gonna take you to a page actually that actually exists. Uh, you can view lesson. And then here you can read more about how to integrate Gumroad on your Webflow page. Now I'm going to take you through this since uh, I already read that page. So basically you need to go to your product. You need to make an account on Gumroad. You need to add your product there. And then you go to app.gumroad.com slash widgets. And then you'll see page like this. And this is where I choose my product. So my product is this one, the FinFlux template and I want to embed this code. Now you can embed a button like this, uh, which we're gonna look further into, but basically I just need this script to be added to my CMS item. So in conclusion, I need an image, a title, a category, a price, and then an embed item or a URL. So let's start building that collection and the CMS. So we go to CMS, we add a new collection and then we call this collection templates. And then this collection will have name, of course, the slug, these are automatic. And then we'll add an image. So this will be thumbnail image. And then another field, which will be the link, which will be URL of a template. And then we will need a category, category. And then we will need a price, which will be a number price. And uh, maybe we'll add a rich text element if we need to make the embed code, because I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this. So rich text element. All right. So basically this is it. Of course, you can customize this further more uh, later to add more stuff. And here you can see the preview. So if you're building the CMS for a client, this is what your client is going to see. And this is what they will, they will be filling in once they make a new item on this collection. So they will see the name, the image place, the URL, the category, the price and the rich text element. So since we're happy with this, let's create it. And uh, I don't have much items now. So we're just going to add one item, which is going to be the FinFlux template. So we're going to call this FinFlux. And then we're going to add that image that we have. So where is the FinFlux image? Uh, there you go. This is the FinFlux image. And uh, then we're going to put the URL. So the URL of the FinFlux image is this one. So in your embed code, you're going to see the URL, or if you go to your product itself, uh, the URL is given there, but I just know this, uh, this is the URL inside your embed code. You just copy that, add it here. And then the category will be Figma to a flow template. And then the price will be 9.99. And then the rich text element here, actually, I can add that um, script. So I can add the whole thing if I want. 
So if I click on rich text, I can add this whole thing. And uh, let's see how this works. Actually, there are three ways of doing this. So let's explore three ways altogether. So now, since I have my CMS, I don't need this grid anymore. Uh, I can just delete items and uh, let's just keep on for the sake of the example. And then I will add a new collection. So I'll go on my padding vertical and then I will add collection. And this collection will be linked to templates. And then the items, since this is the collection, I want collection list to be template grid. So this is why we build this yesterday like that. So template grid, uh, template, uh, template uh, grid, yes. So that, and then we will copy this template item inside the grid. So now it's populating. Let's delete this old one. Let's delete this collection. So we have this collection, we have the template grid, and we have this item inside it. Now let's just populate this. So we get the image from the thumbnail image. So this is getting the image that we want. And uh, we'll get the text from the name. So this is Finflux. We'll get the category. So this is category. And then we'll get the price. So this is the price. So this is it basically. And now if I want, for example, I want this to take me to the page. So I just uh, go to URL and then I will say get URL from template. And then this is the URL I just pasted in the template. So let's see how that works. So if I do that and I publish, let's see what will happen. Publish and publish and publish and go to my page. So this is method number one. So method number one is just basically taking you to this checkout page where I can see the template, I can purchase it, I can see this description. This is basically the page of Gumroad. So method number two is to make this button, so this buy on Gumroad button, be under this. So this is the custom embed button that, uh, that they give you. And if you click on this button, it just takes you directly to this checkout page where I can just directly check out, right? So in order to do that, I can add a rich text element, a rich text element. I can't add a rich text element inside the link. So let's say I add it under this and then this rich text element will be the rich text element stuff that I have on there. So this will be the embed code. And then if I publish this now, I will see that buy on Gumroad button under this item. So let's see how that works. So this is, this is method number two. So you see, I have this buy on Gumroad button. So now if I have more than one item, each one of the items will have the custom code that I embedded in the rich text element. So this is method number two. And if I click on this button, it takes me to this item. It takes me to the checkout page. Now, what if I don't want any of that? And I want to have the same functionality of this button, but on this click. So this is what I want. This is the method that I want. So let's remove the rich text element. Uh, let's keep this. And now in order to do that, I will just need to copy this part of the script, which is that first part and uh, paste it in the head of my page. So I'll go to the head section, paste it here. So this is uh, basically the Gumroad library or the Gumroad script. And then I publish. And then let's see how that works out. So now that it's published, let's see what happens. Now I have this overlay of the extension. Also not what I want. I want that checkout page. So let's go back here. So this is the model overlay. So if I want to make, if I want to send the user directly to checkout, I will have to check this. And now I will have to add this attribute. So you see here, when I click this, it's adding this attribute to the embed code. And I just need to copy this attribute. So data Gumroad overlay checkout. And I go to my item. And then I go to settings. I go to custom attribute. I will add this here. Let's remove this. I'll add this here. 
and then I will add true so this is adding a custom attribute to this and now if I have more than one item it's gonna add it automatically to all of them and uh, this doesn't change this is the same so now how is this working the attribute is telling it that I need to go directly to checkout the item is being pulled from from the URL which I set in my collection and the fact that I have the code here the script code in my head tag this is making sure that the embed works so now if I publish and I go to my item let's refresh if I click it's taking me directly to the checkout and that's exactly what I want so that's basically how you integrate Gumroad in your CMS and uh, of course you can populate more and get more items and um, take it directly to Gumroad and that's how you make your users check out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Gumroad can be a great platform to sell your digital products through your website or you know just put it on Gumroad and then share the link with your users. Uh, this is the way of doing it on your Webflow website so if you want to embed a couple of items here and there on your Webflow website you can do it using this method. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned on day 24 tomorrow where we're going to do some cool stuff with the new Webflow apps that has just been released. So see you tomorrow.